Good morning. Our hymn today is entitled Saved by Grace. We believe it is through the grace of our Lord Jesus that we are saved. Acts 15 and 11. Fanny Crosby wrote over 8,000 hymns and was 71 years old when she wrote this one, Saved by Grace. She wrote hymns her whole life until she died. But she did slow down a little bit in her 80s, writing only 50 a year instead of her regular 100. She always said that the first person she wanted to see when her sight was returned to her was Jesus face to face. This very wish was written into the chorus of this hymn. She was inspired by the words spoken by a pastor friend as he was dying. If each of us is faithful to the grace which is given us by Christ, that same grace which teaches us how to live also teaches us how to die. Of her hundreds of hymns, this seemed to be her favorite. She wrote this hymn more as her personal one of encouragement and sent it to her publisher to be published, but they forgot about it. Years later, she was quoting this poem in a meeting in Massachusetts. The music director, Ira Sankey, contacted composer George Stebbins to write music for Crosby's text, and the hymn was published thereafter. On February 11, 1915, Fanny said she wasn't feeling well. Her niece, Florence Booth, heard her walking down the hall thinking she had gone to the bathroom. When she reached Fanny, she faded into Florence's arms. Fanny was now in the arms of her king, fulfilling her own soul's poem. And I shall see him face to face and tell the story saved by grace. Thank you for letting me share with this hymn with you this week. And please come back next Thursday for the one for that week. And if you'll please share it with your friends, I appreciate it. And if you're on YouTube, please check the following mark.